going on everybody? My name's Chris, I just got off of work, hence I'm still wearing work clothes. But I just want to make a really quick video before I have like a billion other things I have to do for the day, because I miss you guys, hugging. So here's what I've been up to lately. I've been still working out quite a bit. Oh my God, I'm feeling it today. I'm so sore. I'm so sore everywhere. But something that's really cool is um, I get these readouts after my workouts because I go to night round. You wear a sensor and it tells you where your heart rate's been. Uh, my heart rate has been in the red a lot, which is not good because that means you're overexerting. Lately, my heart rate's been in the yellow, which is exactly where you want it to be. So I guess, that my heart and, and my endurance and everything is starting to catch up with uh, the amount of workouts that I've been doing, which is good because, oh my God, it is, it's never easier. It never gets easier. No joke, yesterday there was a point at the very last station I did that there was like a tiny puddle under where my face was because I was in the plank position. I had to get their Swiffer and like mop it up myself. It was so gross. I'm so sorry for sharing that. Yeah, work's kept me really busy. Going to nine rounds kept me really busy. I'm still trying to work on my diet. I am finally under 200 pounds, which is awesome. I'm still under that 200 pounds and I'm not moving that much more since the last week. It's a little bit disappointing, but I haven't been counting my calories, haven't been counting my macros, and I think it's time that I'm gonna have to start doing that. I keep saying that, but, but I haven't done it and that's out of pure laziness. So that's something I gotta change if I wanna really take this seriously. I just don't want to lose the weight too quick because I don't want to have a whole lot of extra skin which I might I honestly guess I haven't checked out like all the info on that on how that's gonna work Maybe I'm stuck with it anyway I'm just hoping that losing the weight slowly like I have been is gonna help me avoid doing that But I can't say for sure if you hear any weird noises It's because my dog is literally just on the ground next to me being a goofball. What else? What else? I've been reading a lot of comic books uh, I've been going through a bunch of the DC stuff uh, the Rebirth stuff went through Batman, Batgirl, I'm on Wonder Woman right now, and I'm loving Wonder Woman. And there was this scene in the last Wonder Woman issue I was reading that cracked me up where you see the, the owl version of Athena on Wonder Woman's shoulder, like, tapping at a, a cell phone, like, at a smartphone with its claw. Oh my god, that was hilarious. I've been doing a little bit of streaming on Twitch. If you don't follow me on there, you should, because it's a lot of fun, I guess. I don't know. Tell me if I'm fun. So, subscribe to slurred nerd s l e s l u r e what the heck? s l u r r e d n e r d slurred nerd i'm not going to use it in a sentence yes i am i follow slurred nerd on twitch been playing fallout 4 right now um, which is a game that i played originally on playstation 4 never finished it because i kept getting sidetracked with all the side quests and stuff and then ended up getting overwatch and that took up like a couple years of my life so i want to finish it and i haven't been able to like react to it because i don't know the whole story yet i've kept away from it this long somehow the big thing i've been doing is playing dungeons and dragons i am dming my first game it is uh 5e but it is a homebrew and it is house rules. The house rules are actually pretty much the exact same as 5e, just with a few little tweaks, especially when it comes to like death saving throws. Cause I don't want my characters to die that much because they're all first time players. It has been so much fun. I wrote this story myself. It has been a story that's been in my head for several years and I've never done anything with it. I've wanted to write a book um, a fantasy book with this before and I just never got around to it because I'm like, oh, it's so much work. Instead, I'm doing this and maybe this is even more work. I don't know, but I'm getting to just exercise my creative brain as much as I want to. I have tons of, of characters and history and lore for this entire world um, with all these different sites and artifacts and places to go and visit and, and basically this long, long elaborate story that's going to be playing out so long as they don't wreck the game which they almost did like within the first five minutes they tried they tried so hard but a little difficult trying to keep them all together as a group because they kind of all want to go do their own things which is fine a little bit but then it just the game takes way longer in one of my last videos i was talking about my career and how that's at a crossroads um, I did find out that I am going to be getting a promotion. I just don't know when that's going to happen and that's gonna bump me up another pay code, which I don't know how much that means, like that it's gonna add. But I think my ultimate goal now within the next several years is to dabble in and profit from enough 
smaller things that I gained enough revenue and can leave this other job. I've got a lot of ideas for that. I'll share that in a later video along with the story for D and D because I'm super excited about it and I, and I'm just a big nerd and and I get into that kind of stuff, especially lore. If you follow any of my podcasts, you know that. If you don't follow any of my podcasts, check out. Saturday morning cartoon boom where we watch and review cartoons and you guys get to pick and You can pick crappy ones if you want. We still watch them. My other podcast. I do by myself is Know the lore Overwatch where I basically talk about all the lore of Overwatch whether it is events or Timelines or characters which are the best part, right? That's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching Please subscribe. I really appreciate it and leave a comment because I would love to talk to you and it doesn't matter which video you comment on just comment on one so we can have a discussion because that's ultimately what I want to do here at this channel. All right, so see you next time.